Boys, today I want to talk about a topic that is close to my heart. And no, it's not Jade Rabbit, but it does include Jade Rabbit in some ways, and that is dead weapons. Let me vent here, guys. I gotta talk about some weapons in the game right now that you just don't see. Some of them are just outright poor from a design standpoint. Some of them are just in a bad archetype, giving them just a mathematically worse time to kill overall. But to me, the weapons that are the most dead are scout rifles. And it's not just Jade Rabbit. Actually, Jade Rabbit still handles itself very well inside a Crucible, despite every map in the game being designed for any weapon other than scout rifles. But in order for a scout rifle to really perform well, especially inside a PvP, is that it has to be the best of roles. There is no middle ground. Even with the substantial buff that was given to rapid fire scout rifles, weapons such as Black Scorpion still only has a time to kill value of 0.93 seconds. And if we think back, that was actually supposed to be like one of the more significant buffs. But even then, you haven't necessarily seen a huge uptick in Black Scorpions inside of Crucible. Despite me being a huge fan of Black Scorpions, there's so many reasons to not use it over many, many parts rifles. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to weapon types that I feel like are forgotten, scout rifles to me feel forgotten by Bungie. Despite buffs given to these weapons over and over again in both PvP and in PvE. But specifically for Crucible, something we have not seen in a really, really long time, which is hurting us, is larger maps. Bigger maps that will actually make a player explore their loadout a little more outside of a hand cannon shotgun combo. Something to make them go, hey, I think I might try this. And that may be their God Row vouch safe that they've never even thought of using. As of right now, with the current maps that we have in the game, most, if not all of our scout rifles will remain dead weapons to the majority of players. And this is when I start to sound like a broken record. Once upon a time, there was a game that actually got this balance right. And that was Destiny 1. You're on Widow's Court. This was a great opportunity for you to throw on a Jade Rabbit, back up, and start picking some people. And that wasn't the only map. Frontier was one of my favorite maps to throw on Mana Multi-Tool. Since you had that bridge there in the middle, and fights could go from mid-range to long range very quickly, Mida was like the perfect weapon for that map. And again, all of these maps were designed by Bungie. And why we have gone as long as we've gone so far without seeing new maps, and especially new maps that don't cater shotgun rushers and don't cater close quarter combat, it blows my mind. I'm not too satisfied with the state of Destiny right now. I feel like things are stale. And I don't mean we need another exotic quest or a load of new content dropped in front of us. Man, just some maps that incorporates and pushes us to use some play styles outside of what's currently being used would have just been really nice six, seven months ago. Until then, I think weapons such as scout rifles in general are probably going to remain dead weapons. Can you use them? Absolutely. Polaris Lance is still one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's deadly. It's nasty. I personally like to rock out no feelings with box breathing. A very nasty scout rifle when you proc that allows it to easily three tap. And even our new Gambit scout rifle, Night Watch, is also a really good one. And I would love to see these weapons being used more. So guys, that's just my thoughts. I don't know how much we're going to talk about when it comes to dead weapons. There's a lot of dead weapons for sure. I mean, we could come up with a whole list of weapons in the game that are dead. Jade Rabbit just kind of got me thinking about it today because I was so excited for this weapon when we first got its exotic catalyst last year. But outside of getting the exotic catalyst, I just haven't returned to it. And on top of that, I haven't returned to scout rifles pretty much at all. And I really think that's just due to us having a lack of bigger, wider range maps. And we do have some maps that do spread things out. But if you keep placing debris and keeping lanes very confined, then there's no point even bringing those big maps to begin with. Again, Widow's Court, Frontier, some of those big maps back in Destiny 1, I wouldn't even care if Bungie just ported those in. It wouldn't bother me one bit. And I know somebody in the comments is going to say there's some technical difficulties for why they can't do that or why we can't have larger maps. Look, Jose Cuervo on my team still lacks, regardless of whether we're on a small map or a big map. I'd rather just take my chances and kill them on a big map. So guys, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think down below. And fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>